Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Yep, here we go again. This is my pre-market report for Monday, December 30th, 2019. Um, it's incredible, really, to watch the military-industrial complex at work. We got to see that over the weekend, and the desired effect in the stock market is taking place. So unless you live under a rock, you know uh, that the United States uh, did conduct airstrikes in both Syria and Iraq. This has pushed crude oil higher. Stock futures are pointing towards a higher open, the desired effect. Uh, and it's, it's amazing to me. I mean, you all know that you all knew this was coming. And I would believe that those of you who follow this blog, when you heard about it, you went, it's just incredible. Uh, I explained to you this is what they will do. This is not the end of it. Not only is it not the end of it, but although these current airstrikes apparently have stopped, they're already talking about more action. This is, again, positive for crude oil, the lifeblood of the military industrial complex. It's positive for the entire energy sector, obviously the financial sector. This will push stocks higher. This is what it's all about. It's about the military industrial complex. They are unstoppable. So don't, uh, don't, don't believe that uh, things are going to change anytime soon. This is the mechanism and uh, it will continue. There's no doubt about it. Metals, believe it or not, are under pressure right now slightly. So are cryptocurrencies. You would imagine in, in, the, in a real environment, the opposite effect would happen. But this is fake. You all understand that. The metals and, uh, and cryptocurrencies, in my view, have no bearing on reality with regard to price action. They are deliberately suppressed. So what does that mean for you? Opportunity. There's opportunity here upside down, backwards, and sideways, because we know what's going to happen. People, look, the, the military action that we witnessed over this weekend is just the first step. They will continue to do this. Look, let me explain this to you real quickly. The United States is involved in endless wars. They just don't stop. Uh, around the globe, at any given moment, the United States is involved in some kind of a conflict. Now, you think this is just because of bad luck? Really? Or do you believe it's by design? Of course it's by design. It's the military machine, the military industrial complex, for which, who finances the entire thing? The Federal Reserve. You still believe that the world is run by kings, king, presidents, monarchs, queens? You still think that? <laughs> okay, very good. Anyway, so, so with that said, that's where we are. Um, stock futures pointing towards a higher open on the back of crude oil uh, being bid up on U.S. airstrikes. And there's more talk about extending the strikes. No surprise to you. If you follow this blog, this is stock market positive. Suppressed assets remain stuck in a range, like I explained to you recently. Uh, but that means there's opportunity here for the long haul. Anyway, uh, with that said, that's it. Kind of a short video this morning. I got to get to work myself. Again, I do this for all of you. Uh, believe me, I, I don't want to get up this early, but I feel a responsibility to you. So here I am. And uh, I will see all of you at the end of the day. We'll, we'll, we'll put this whole charade together. Love you a lot. See you later.